Welcome. In this video, you will learn how to generate load combinations in STAD Pro in preparation for performing an analysis and design. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on the following topics in this video. We're going to take a look at your load types for your primary load cases, your automatic load combination rules supplied with STAD Pro. We're going to look at the load combination types that are available and the overall workflow to generate your load combination. So let's get started. Our first topic today is taking a look at the load types for your primary load cases. As you can see, I will be using a model that's already been created in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler for this video, and I'm taking a look at the load case details. This particular model contains several different types of load, including dead load, live load, wind, and seismic. If I double click on any of the primary load cases, I would see the load type field has already been completed. The load type field is used to associate the load case with the code definitions of dead load, live load, wind load, etc. This type of association needs to be done in order to make use of STAD Pro's facility for automatically generating load combinations in accordance with one of the load combination generators. For this particular model, we've already specified the loading type appropriately for all of our primary load cases. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at the automatic load combination rules that are supplied within STAD Pro. To do that, select the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar, select automatic load combinations, and then the edit auto combination rules option. Now STAD Pro includes a facility for the automatic generation of load combinations and it uses the rules described in several U.S. and international code standards. We can see all the standards that are supplied with STAD Pro over in the contents pane. For this particular video, we are going to be generating LRFD load combinations in accordance with the ASCE 716. Let's go ahead and expand that code and we can see that this code includes several different LRFD and ASD style load combination generators. If you want more information on the load combinations and the factors that will be used when using each of these generators, go ahead and double click on it in the automatic load combination manager. Here I'll be able to see the different load cases that will be included when generating load combinations, I'll also be able to see the factors assigned to each load case. In addition to that, you can also review the configuration for the particular code or table that you selected. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the configuration option. And I'm going to see a couple of fields here, and this would be applicable to all of the load combination generators for the code that I have selected. The first option is the notional load field. Now you're going to select this option for each load type to include notional load cases in the generated load combinations if they're present in the input file. Now these loads are specifically used for a direct analysis. In addition to that, we're also going to notice that the combination type is indicated for each load case. If the combination type is set to aggregate, this means that all cases will be combined together that are assigned that particular load type. So for each rule, a single combination will be created, which will include all of the load cases of that load category multiplied by the load factor in the table. If this field is set to separate, then a separate combination for each case will be created. For each rule, multiple combinations will be created, which will include one of the load cases of the load category multiplied by the factor in the table. You can see that the combination type for wind and seismic are both set to separate by default. Let's go ahead and close the automatic load combination manager. Now it is important to get familiar with the automatic load combination generators if you plan on using that workflow in STAD Pro. 
The next topic we're going to discuss is the type of load combinations that are available within STAD Pro. In STAD Pro, you can generate two different types of load combinations. The first type would be a traditional load combination. This is a load combination that will include a set of load results, which are combined algebraically to produce a superimposed set of results for post-processing. In a traditional load combination, STAD Pro will calculate the results of each load case individually. Now it's important to note that traditional load combinations are only appropriate for a linear elastic analysis. The other type of load combination that we can create is a repeat load case. This would be used to create a primary load case using combinations of previously defined primary load cases. In a repeat load combination, STAD Pro will apply the load cases on the structure simultaneously and then calculate their combined results. Repeat load cases should be defined for any type of model in STAD Pro where you're planning on performing an iterative or second order analysis. This includes a direct analysis, a P delta analysis, and analysis for a model that contains tension only or compression only members. So let's go ahead and turn our attention back to STAD Pro. For this particular model, we're going to be generating our load combinations in preparation for performing a P delta analysis. That is a second order analysis. So repeat load cases would be required in order to capture those second order effects. To generate your load combinations, let's go to the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar, select automatic combinations, and then the automatic load combination option. Here we're going to select the load combination code, and we're going to select for this video the ASCE 716. We're also going to select the load combination category, and we'll select one of the LRFD load combination generators. The last thing we're going to do is remember that we are planning on performing a second order analysis, and we need to make sure that create repeat load cases option is selected. If that option is selected, you also have the option to include reference loads or notional loads in your load combinations that you're about to generate. The last thing I'm going to do is click on the Generate Loads button. And here I'll be able to see and preview all the load combinations that are about to be generated. If I'm satisfied with this list, let's go ahead and click on the Add button to officially add these load combinations to the input file. Once you're done, let's go ahead and click Close. Now I should be able to see in the Load and Definition dialog all of the load combinations that were just created. Now if we were to take a look at those load combinations in this dialog, we're going to notice that there is a symbol adjacent to each load combinations. A red L would indicate that this is a repeat load case, and of course we're going to remember that this is appropriate for a second order analysis. If instead we saw a blue C adjacent to each of these load combinations, that means that's a traditional load combination and should only be used for a linear elastic analysis. At this point, this concludes our process for generating load combinations in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler. Hopefully, by the end of this video, you understand the different types of load combinations that we can create in STAD Pro and which analysis type each are appropriate for. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.